Welcome back. Police say a teenager in Westport died while riding a dirt bike. The crash happened yesterday afternoon on Old Hill Road when the bike collided with a loaded dump truck. It's the latest in a string of deadly accidents involving dirt bikes on Connecticut roads. Fox 61's Bridget Bjorlo looked into the concerning trend and she joins us live in studio now. So Bridget, why is it happening? Well, it's definitely happening more frequently. A few different reasons for that, Brent and Sarah. We're still waiting to learn more about the latest incident in Westport. But generally speaking, police say most of the dirt bike riders that you see on the roads, they're not registered to be there, and the bikes themselves are not equipped with the right safety features. Even more concerning, many of the drivers are teenagers who don't have a license, and they don't know the rules of the road. There's a reason they call them dirt bikes. They're not made for the street. Wilkett Police Chief Ed Stevens says illegal dirt bikes are wreaking havoc on Connecticut roads. They do create a hazard because the people that drive them, a lot of them you'll find are, you know, youths, uh, kids that are not, you know, have licenses or anything, and they just jump out on the roadway and drive, not knowing the laws of the road, you know, not knowing you shouldn't cut in front of a car or, you know, turning too quick. Just one day ago, a teenager died after crashing his dirt bike into a fully loaded dump truck along Old Hill Road in Westport. The latest casualty in a series of deadly crashes involving these bikes. But by us chasing them, now you're causing them to go faster on a roadway where their tires are not gripping. They might be inexperienced riders. There's a very good chance of them getting injured or, you know, worse. So, you know, we, we don't chase them. We can't chase them by, based on state policy. Chief Stevens says cracking down on unregistered dirt bikes that don't have safety features like lighting and license plates is no easy task, and kids know it. So the police basically have to sit there and watch them go by, and not a lot we can do. And, and unfortunately, a lot of these more dirt bike riders know this, and they'll taunt the police like they have in other towns. Wolcott PD issues citations when it can, but recommends the real police work start at home. My message to parents are, if you don't have private, your own private property to operate these on, don't buy them for your kids. Not worth the risk. If you are caught riding an illegal dirt bike, you could face a hefty fine of $1,000 for the first offense and up to $2,000 for multiple violations. Cops will take your bike away and you'll have to prove ownership to get it back. Sarah.